All right, this is the one month update on my <coughs> CLK320 Cabriolet. I have put about 900 miles on it. <coughs> and uh, something interesting, the uh, display on the left there does very random things. You would think that if it was uh, completely failed that it would always be out, but sometimes it has like two like bars in the middle. Sometimes it's completely out and today for the first time it has like one bar on the right and one on the bottom. So it's pretty random. Um, I guess it's just kind of intermittent. It's never had a, the full display. But, um, well, ever since I did the initial repairs to this when I first bought it, it's been flawless. Um, these are very reliable cars overall, um, especially when they're taken care of. They, they get a bad rap, uh, Mercedes quality from, from around this, this time. Definitely gets a bad rap, but I've had a few Benzes from this time period and um, I've always found them to be very reliable I, when I used to drive a lot for work um, I have uh, I've put a lot of miles on uh, actually I had I think I have some videos of my 2000 E320 or maybe it was an 01 I don't remember exactly and it had like 150,000 miles on it when I got it and I ended up putting like a thousand miles a week on it never really had any issues with it um, this one here being such low miles I, I expect this one to be a very reliable car for a long period of time I'm gonna do a full suite of uh, maintenance I'm gonna put my camera down because I'm stopping that red light here Gonna do a full suite of maintenance on it and um, get everything uh, get everything up to par. Um, it looks like from the history that I've seen on this car that it was very well taken care of. The coolant is the proper coolant with the nice blue color. The brake fluid was still amber colored. The oil looks fine, and um, I'm uh, guessing that the um, let's see if I can pull that up. Yeah, it says it's doing 7,500 miles. I'm guessing that's correct. Uh, it was probably done about 2,500 miles ago, so I haven't been too worried about that. Um, I actually have left over um, from, I believe from my E320 and maybe uh, one other car. I, I have uh, two gallons of the uh, proper oil and a filter already ready to go. So it's just a matter of uh, getting it done. Just to recap, I uh, replaced the pedal position sensor, which was causing it to go into limp mode. I replaced the brake light switch, which was kicking off the ABS, ESP, and BAS lights. I've not had any issues at all with any of that since then. Um, as a preventative, I replaced the transmission connector. About a quart of transmission fluid came out. I just measured it, put back in what came out. I ended up putting in a quart of the amp soil ATF that I had left over. And uh, since then, it's uh, continued to shift flawlessly. Uh, the engine sounds great. Um, yeah. Not a whole lot to, to say really. Uh, one thing I have left to do that I'm going to get around to is replacing the, the door, the door stop, whatever strap, the one that holds the door open. Uh, that one has failed. I have the new part, just haven't gotten to it yet. And um, yeah, it's uh, the tires are good, the brakes are good. Uh, it drives smooth and quiet on the highway. Everything works. Uh, I've got the cruise.
computer's set right now. The uh, radio, CD player, all that works. It sounds pretty good. It's a Bose unit. Uh, uh, there is one little nit. Um, the, the climate control, when I first started in the morning, it blows out of the wrong fence. Now, it eventually does correct itself, but, um, yeah, it's like, it's kind of weird what it does. It, like, moves the air around, um, but, yeah, after you get going a couple minutes, it's fine. Not too worried about any of that. Originally, I bought this car just to flip. Um, I paid, uh... 6500 no, 6254 The asking price was 6500 The I was pretty firm on the price. Um, yeah, something just hit the bottom of the car. I believe that uh, I mentioned in one of my other videos that I bought it from the original owner who watched it roll off the truck. Um, and he just said after 23 years it was time for something new. He ended up getting himself a new truck. Same color uh, as this. So I guess he likes his dark reds. But um, yeah, I mean, so it was more or less dealer service. Most of the service history is present between the maintenance book and the car facts. Um, he had a $3,000 repair done to the, the soft top. Uh, one of the cylinders had gone bad. I think it was the bow cylinder. And the, he had the module replaced, which is crazy expensive. It was done uh, three years ago. And uh, it was a $3,000 job. I actually got the receipt from the dealer. So I have that. Um, yeah, and um, there's no leaks, no seepage, except a little bit, maybe, from one of the valve cover gaskets. I wiped it off. I'm going to monitor it to, uh, to see how much is coming out of there. I may, may go ahead and replace that. Um, it's the one on the passenger side. But, like, all of the lines, like the power steering lines, transmission cooling lines, all of that, it's just bone dry. Uh, none of that seeping or leaking or anything like that. It's actually quite impressive. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's the one-month update after about 900 miles. What have we going on here? Somebody's putting their brakes on for no reason get in this lane to avoid them. I do see a construction sign. That would be new. Anyway, let me know if anybody has any questions. And that's it.